taken some special measures in reaction to the shooting in Connecticut. Can you talk about that a little bit? Uh, by direction of the chief, <clears throat> we've uh, directed our police officers, uniformed and non-uniformed, to make extra patrols in the city schools. Uh, we're doing this just to give a sense of security to the public, parents and administrators. Uh, we just want to be more active. Uh, we, everybody knows we have uh, numerous uh, patrol officers out there, but they're from, they're stretched between Yorktown on the south side and, and far 7th, 7th Avenue. So all the officers that are on duty are, have been directed by the chief and the mayor's office to, to uh, go into and around these schools. That would be traffic, uh, detectives, patrol, whatever. That's, that's exactly right. I told uh, our detectives this morning uh, during our roll call to go out here and make sure you make contact with somebody, even if you just drive through the lot. And we're also asking the public to, uh, if you see something suspicious, and we know the parents are going to be around the schools today and the rest of the week, to give us a call. Like I said, we're stretched, stretched out there, so if they call and we have uh, a little information before we ever get there, it's not going to hurt to call us. What's the concern here, Sergeant? Uh, th this was an isolated act by a mainly disturbed individual. Are you worried about a copycat? Or? Not at all. Not at all. We're not worried about anything, to be honest with you. We just want to make sure that the public out there is, uh, is secure in thinking the police department is there, because we are there. Uh, we just want to have a more presence, a more active presence out there. The chief feels that this will make people feel better, uh, that we are acting before we can react. Uh, we only have four days at the most left this week in the school, school year, uh, and then we're going to go on to a, a long break and hopefully something can return to some sense of normalcy after that. But right now, he just wants to make sure that everybody out there uh, knows that we are here. And uh, is this all the schools? It is, you know, we have schools, uh, as everybody knows, I don't even know the number of schools in the city, but there, there are a lot of them. Uh, and every school in this town, whether it be a private school or a public school, we're going to do a patrol on that. You know, if there are children in there, if there are young people in there, we're going to be, be patrolling that area. Uh, I know Charleston Catholic sitting down here and Montessori over on the south side. you got St. Anthony's on the west side. That's the private schools that we're going to look at. Uh, they haven't asked. Not one person has asked us, but we're going to be the aggressor in this. Uh, the chief was very adamant about it this morning to make sure that we get out there and we're seen. Uh, we're trained to handle certain situations that school administrators aren't. So we want to make sure that we get out there and make them people feel comfortable. Will this continue after, you know, like you said, there's like two or three days, three or four days left in the, the, until Christmas break, but is this kind of, we just kind of kind of wait and let this kind of die down or are we going to kick back up in the well, new year? You know, it's, it's, that's a good question, and what we'll do is after the new year, we'll reassess the situation, and I'm sure there'll be th some things come down uh, from the federal level, and they will ask us to do things, whatever they say we're going to do, and I'm sure the chief and the mayor will have uh, recommendations for us to do, and we'll, but we will reassess the situation after the new year. Do you have any school resource officers in the city here? Yes, we do, and that, you know, that was one of the first things that we've done was uh, call in our, re our school resource officers and tell them make sure that you're available to answer questions to the staff, to the school students, to parents. Uh, and they have they have been doing this. We have one at Capitol and one over at, uh, at GW. Uh, but, you know, that's, uh, that's just two schools out of many. Uh, but, yes, that's one of, the, one of the first things that the chief done was bring these people in and, and comment about them. How are the school resource officers budgeted? I mean, do this, does the county help pay for that, or is that all police? Well, you know, it, it's, it depends. We, we do get grant money for some of them, and some of them we don't. Uh, and then uh, this is something that, that, that will be addressed, and it is addressed annually, whether we have grant money or not. But right now, we're not worried about so much of the money. We're just reacting to the situation at hand. And I guess looking down, down in, in, in the future a little bit, and so we're talking about resource officers, is this something that maybe should be looked into where bring on some more officers and put them in every school? If it's well, you know, I, the budgetary issues are something that uh, that I can't address as a police officer. The city and the county and the state and the feds, they'll have to do that. But it is a question that will be asked, I'm sure, and has already been asked. Good. Thank you. Okay.